Good afternoon, it's Kristen Hancock, the Simcoe County Stamper, and I am here to assemble one of my Christmas cards that is included in my online Christmas stamp stack. So it is this really cute card right here that we're gonna be putting together. So I found this card online. It was designed by fellow demonstrator, Cheryl Dorsey, and I thought it was just so cute. So simple as well, so I've included it in my Christmas stamp -a stack and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I made it. So it uses the Berry Cute bundle. I've already gone ahead and mounted the Warm Wishes sentiment that we'll be using and I've already punched out the bear in black. I will put the measurements for these pieces um, up in the description. So you, I'm not gonna go ahead and give them out verbally because I didn't pre-measure. So I've gone ahead and embossed the basic white mat with the snowflake embossing folder. So the first thing we're gonna do is adhere that to the base, which is just like a postcard, so it's not going to open up. I love the texture that that gives. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach the two pieces. Um, designer series paper gonna go on the front and then a piece of basic white on the inside for writing your greeting. We did this card at my retreat as well as one of the fun folds in the class that I did and it went over really well. It was popular. I think anytime you come across a new fold that is quick and easy, it is bound to be a hit. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is add some adhesive to the back and put that onto the card front. Now you could put it over to one side or you could center it. How you do that is totally up to you. So when I saw the card from Cheryl, she had put hers to the side. So I did that on mine. I think this time I'm gonna put it in the center just to show you slight difference. I want to use the grid marks, but I don't want to count them. So I'm just going to eyeball. I love the liquid glue because if it goes on crooked, you still have a little bit of time. I think I'm too wide on this side, but that's okay. So I've got two circles that I've cut out using the deckled circles. I'm gonna stamp on the white one, warm wishes in memento black. Gonna go ahead and put a little adhesive behind there. Stick it to my vellum. And then I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back. And we'll put some dimensionals in behind the polar bear. 
Now he could be going, or the black bear, um, he can go in whichever direction you would like. Isn't this a super simple card to put together? So last thing I'm gonna do is add some gems and I've got adhesive backed sparkle gems and I'm gonna use the silver ones. here that I'm going to stick on my bear. I might just make it a little smaller. Trim that. Okay, so I'm just going to add that with a glue dot. Easy peasy. I think it would also look really nice if you added just a little strip of the red buffalo plaid in there. I might go ahead and just cut a thin little strip because I think that would look nice. Or you could also put a bear. Super cute. If you have any questions about that card, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, I think it's super cute. I will put the directions in the descriptions and the measurements um, so that you have those. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the card.